Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. So the hype now in ROX are the new pets. New pets are coming to ROX and it will be patched in the game on 19th of October. Just a few days more from the time this video is made. This comes as a surprise to me because there is literally no news on this beforehand. Usually this kind of updates will most likely to be implemented in the Taiwan server first and then it will be slowly updated into the SEA server. Usually, that is the case for most of the updates in the game so far. But there is no news on the new pads in the Taiwan server other than the Moonlight Rabbit pad that I had mentioned previously in another video. Anyway, let's look at the new pads. What are the new pads that we're going to get? The first group, we have Fire, Undead, and Shadow pad. It can be further separated into three groups. It didn't mention here in the infographic but most probably the bright light pad can be evolved to golden teeth bug the mummy pad can be evolved to osiris the bright light pad have penetration aptitude this can be an alternative pad for the baby desert wolf pad since it has the same fire element the skill that it can learn will be similar to the baby desert wolf pad as well one thing to note for this pad is that as the bright light evolved to the golden teeth bug pad the physical physical lifesteal stat is replaced with the final hast. The mummy pad have crit aptitude. This can be an alternative pad for the yo-yo pad, but instead of earth element, it uses the undead element. The skill that it can learn will be similar to the undead type pad, like the zombie pad. One thing also to note for this pad is that, as the mummy pad evolved to the Osiris, the HP stat is replaced with the physical lifesteal. Another three pads on the right most likely to be a 3 stars pad once caught. They do not have or need to be evolved. The Marduk have magic attack with fire element skill. The Vedid have penetration stat with undead element. And the Isis pad have crit stat with shadow element. Now a lot of players will pick their pad based on their element and their type. For example, if your character is built with fire element, you will most probably go for the fire element pad like the baby that at wolf to increase the fire attribute damage and if you are a crit type character you will get the pad that have crit aptitude to increase your crit stat further like the yo-yo pad the ideal pad will be having the same element as your character and have the same type as well for example for me i am a longbow penetration stat with fire element build ranger so the desert wolf pad is perfect for my character it has penetration stat and also also fire element skill that can increase my damage further. For others, for example, if you have a longbow crit stat fire element ranger build, the desert wolf pad although have fire element skill that can increase your fire attribute damage, but it has penetration stat, which is not suitable for your crit build. The other pad option is to use the yo-yo pad. It has crit stat, which is perfect for your crit build character, but it has earth element. You can't utilize the pad skill. With this new pad, you can finally benefit from both its aptitude and the elements as well, regardless of your element. I am specifically talking about the Vedit pad. For quite some time now, the neutral element job class like the Mechanic and the Falcon Ranger have been complaining of not getting a neutral element pad that have skill to increase the neutral attribute damage. Most neutral element pad has support skill like healing and resurrection. So the neutral pad skill do not help to increase their character damage. Now although the new pads do not have the neutral element pad added in the list, but the undead element pad has some useful skills that can increase your damage towards the target. The undead element pad like the zombie pad has a lot of debuff skill. Specifically, the dance break and the reduction break skill are very good in general. The dance break skill lower down the target defense and the reduction break skill lower down the target damage reduction stat. Although it does not increase your overall stat directly, but it lowers down the target defense and damage reduction stat, and that allow you to deal more damage to the enemy. Previously, the undead element pad like the skeleton walker and the zombie pad has magic attack aptitude, which favor to only the magic user character. But with the new pad Vedit, the Vedit has physical attack and physical penetration aptitude 
attitude. So this is beneficial to the physical penetration job class like mechanic and the falcon ranger. Now how about the crit type job class like the longbow crit ranger. The osiris pad will be beneficial to the crit ranger. It has crit aptitude and with the undead skill it can actually replace the yo-yo pad. In fact the undead pad skill is universal. It does not subject to any element. So all types of play styles can use the undead pad regardless of your element bill. The crit sword lord knight, crit assassin, crit shadow chaser, heavy shura can actually use the osiris pad. The penetration spear lord knight, bard and dancer, light shura, falcon ranger can use the varied. But of course I still think that using pad that have skill to increase your element attribute damage is still better. The varied and osiris is an alternative pad to the specific job class that I mentioned earlier that don't have the pad skill to increase the element attribute damage to their advantage. Now how about the magic user warlock? With the same principle, we have the drag pad. The drag pad has magic attack and magic penetration aptitude which will benefit the magic user. But there is also the mass pad that can be evolved to the kraken which also have the magic attack and magic penetration aptitude. And on top of that, this pad is water element which have skill to increase the water attribute damage for warlock. The drag pad may be more appealing to the magic damage type archbishop user. The dancer, specifically the water element dancer build will benefit from the mark pad. The mark is water element and it have physical attack and physical penetration aptitude. Perfect for the water dancer build. The vadon pad that can be evolved to the king drama is water element and have crit aptitude. Not sure if any specific class will benefit from this pad, but maybe an option for crit type water element build character. And finally, the Strauf pad. Looks like its aptitude is more toward the PvP gameplay. Now this infographics only shows the pad aptitude. We still do not know about the unique skill yet. So that is exciting to see what unique skill each of these pads will have. Alright, what do you think of these new pads? So far, the game had revealed two groups of pads and the game mentioned that it will have a third group. I am still waiting for the third part. It haven't been revealed by the game yet. So stay tuned for more updates. That's it for this video. This time video shout out goes to... Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.